The following program is brought to you by Whiteman TV and Bruce Telecom. Welcome to this month's edition of What's Happening in North Perth. I'm always looking for events, stories, or topics to interest you and encourage you to come to North Perth. The North Perth Chamber has a website of events that you can check out anytime, or we will also welcome you to follow us on Facebook. Just recently, while stewing over what would possibly interest our audience in this program, I sat in meditation and came up with this. Mental health is everyone's business. Since one in three Canadians will experience a mental health problem at some point in their life, I decided this subject does affect everyone. Why not talk about it and share what services are available here? Maybe make some suggestions regarding health and nutrition and finding other resources to consider. We had an overwhelming response from businesses and organizations in this community. So now, and over the next few months, we will be meeting a variety of people that work in the mental health industry, we will go places that offer great resources, or talk with individuals willing to share their story. If you have something you'd like to share, contact me at the Chamber office. Now let's get this show going. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lisa Schaefer and I'm the coordinator for Community of Character in North Perth. And this month is February and we're talking about perseverance. And with me today is my trusty assistant, Kira Schaefer, who's going to talk about what perseverance means to her. Hi, my name is Kira and today I'm talking about perseverance. Perseverance is when you try to do something and you don't give up no matter how hard it gets. Like for me, I, I tried to do the splits and dance while watching my other friends do it and getting advice from my teachers and now I can do it. I challenge you to do something new no matter how hard it is, you don't give up. Thank you, Kira. That was wonderful. Uh, if you want to reach us, you can check out our website at uh, communityofcharacter.ca. We're on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Coming up in May, May 28th, is our character run. We are looking forward to having lots of you come out and run and support Community of Character, as well as an um, initiative that encourages you to be healthy and uh, be part of your community. Uh, information is on our website, as well as our Facebook page. Thank you. And as always, we encourage you to live, work, and play with character always. Today, I'm with Sherry Bearfelds, Coordinator of Public Services at the Listowel Branch of the Library. Sherry, I was wondering if you would tell us a little bit about the resources and, and things you can see and do here at the local library. Sure. Um, I think... Libraries bring a lot to communities, and here at the North Perth Public Library, we're more than just books and banks of computers. Um, we're places where people can gather and interact, and I want the people in our community to know that um, the library is here for them. Um, at our library, we receive three daily newspapers, so people can come into our building while enjoying a hot drink, read the newspaper, perhaps visit and chat with other people. Um, we have lots of programs for all ages. We're really fortunate here at the North Perth Public Library that the earlier centre does three preschool programs each week for us. Um, it gives new moms a chance to come out, interact, come to baby time, interact, meet each other um, every Monday morning, Thursday afternoons and Friday morning. So it's a great opportunity for young families here in Listwell. We also... Um, love having the teens come and visit us. Um, they might want to just meet up with their friends, use our computers, use our upstairs hay room to do homework, or maybe just hang out, play a board game. And um, we want the teens in, our, in North Perth to know they're always available and welcome here at our library. Uh, the Arts Council uses our, our display cases. Each month a new local artist will display their works. It's a great opportunity for us to see the talent that we have here in North Perth. 
Uh, I know I certainly look forward to each month seeing what new artists, artists and artists works are there. And I know a lot of people in our community will stop. You'll see them stop looking at, at the artwork that people see. That changes every month. Um, really, I think probably at North Perth, though, our staff is our greatest resource. Um, whether it's help finding a book, uh, with help with the computer, we always want to do our best to help you. Um, you'd be surprised at the questions that we get asked each and every day. Um, no question is, 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 is too stupid or too strange or too odd. We are just so happy to try to help find you the answers. And um, we hope that people will always look at us for a, to be a trusted resource. So there is lots happening here at, at all branches of the North Perth Public Library. And we hope that people realize it's, it's, we're here for them as part of our community. Since our focus this month is on mental health, Sherry, I know personally I have used tons of books and I use them as a resource to just get fresh ideas, new thinking, um, sharing my ideas with my family uh, and I'm always just keen to, to learn something new. So I was wondering what the library here might have uh, in means of mental health, um, self-help books or um, something interesting that maybe be able to help somebody along their little journey. Sharon, you are correct. We do have a variety of different things that I want to share with you. I have spent a few moments collecting a few, a few of our books and materials to, to share with you all the, thing, all the resources that, that our library has available. The first thing I want to talk to you about, though, is our databases. You can access our databases online through our website. Um, the one such as computer, compu excuse me, Consumer Health, um, you know that when you're using these databases that the information you're getting is current, it's reliable, and it's from a reputable source. So, you, so it's a really great place to find um, current resources on, on mental health right from our web, website. Um, come into the library anytime and we can show you how to access that. It is free of charge. So that's one resource that we have that's not a material form but is available online. You can search that at home or come into the library either place and it's, it's a really reputable source that I'd like the people in our town to know about. We also have many, many books available. We have books, so I brought a few of them to share with you. We have a lot of books such as um, Troubled Journey, um, When Someone You Love Has Mental illness, illness, that are great resources for family members that are dealing with, with this topic. We also have uh, quite a few self-help books, things like um, Eight Keys to Safe Trauma Recovery, um, PTSD Work workbooks. These are all available. Um, ones like this, this P PTSD workbook does have some reproducibles that you can use um, to, um, if, you know, if you or know of someone that's suffering from, from that. We also have a lot of great memoirs. And the one that came to my mind that I remember reading was from the, uh, the actress Brooke Shields. Brooke uh, suffered from postpartum depression and her book Down Came the Rain is a really interesting and, and also shows you that um, it allows new mothers to know that they're not alone. Postpartum affects everyone. It affects famous people. It affects regular people. A really great, a great in, uh, book for someone to read. So along with that, when I did some research, we also have When Babies Bring the Blues. We have some solutions for postpartum depression that, that, that our young parents in our community could, could read up on if they're suffering from that. We have lots and lots of information books books about eating disorders, bipolar, anxiety. And a lot of these books have been recommended to us from uh, the public, from the professionals of the mental health um, in professionals in our community. And we try to keep our books in our collection ones that, that our local professionals are recommending so they can come here, find what they're looking for. Um, Things like uh, the anti-anxiety workbook was one that, that a particular professional in our community recommended. People have come and borrowed it and used it, and it's a, it's a great um, partnership that we, that we have. Um, and if we don't have the books that you're looking for, we do our very, very best to find them for you through our interlibrary loan procedure. We also have a lot of resources um, that are just available for healthy living. Things like, um, oh, where's my list here? Things like DVDs on Pilates, yoga. We have a meditation books and CDs that you can borrow. We have healthy food books, things like Tai Chi. We have um, 10 Steps to Healthy Living, written by Leslie Beck, uh, a, Canadian, a Canadian dietitian. We have a lot of good fiction books that explore the topic of mental illness. 
Um, for example, the Silver Linings Playbook was the one that I brought along. And it's a book, and it's an entertaining, heartfelt, and authentic novel about a man living with bipolar disease. Lots and lots of um, fiction books that relate to mental health. We also, I also want, didn't want to forget about the children in our area. We do have some non-fiction books, When My Worries Get Too Big, that parents can read and share with their children. And also the author I wanted to highlight today was Audrey Penn. She's written a series of books that offer a starting point for discussion between parents and children surrounding concerns such as separation anxiety, other, other mental health issues. That, 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 so it's a good starting point. Picture books are a great spot for parents, or a great thing for parents to share with their children. Um, we try to grow our collection out of our community needs. We want to have the books that the people in our community are looking for. So um, I guess to wrap it all up, I, I just want to share that, that the North Perth Public Library um, is a community meeting place. We want to be there for the things that people in our community need. If, if there's any books or things you're looking for, come stop at the desk, let us know, and we'll do our best to find them for you. Thanks, Sherry. <laughs>Hi, I'm with Tamara Hamilton, and we're at DynaFit in Listowel. And one of the subjects this month we're talking about is mental health, is everyone's business. And of course, to me, I think about exercise. So I'm coming to an expert to share with me some thoughts. What do you, what, how do you feel um, exercise can relate to the, the mental health? And if you would share some of your thoughts about it. Sure. So exercise, researchers have found that exercise causes a dopamine and serotonin release in the brain, which is the neurochemicals that are actually called the happy chemicals in the brain. Um, so low to moderate uh, and even some vig vigorous physical activity um, can cause this release. So it's at actually our nature's antidepressant. Uh, you can get these neurotonin, uh, serotonin neurotransmitter releases uh, from very, very light exercise such as going for a walk, um, lifting weights, taking a fitness class, um, anything just to get up and get moving. Um, one of the classes I know you're instructing right now is yoga. Yeah. Some of us, we just we hear about it, we don't know a lot about it. Can you tell us a bit more? Sure, so a typical yoga class here that I teach is an hour long um, and we spend about the first 40 minutes moving to get that uh, neurotransmitter release and helping to let the body relax and get warmed up. And then we spend about 10 minutes stretching and then 10 minutes meditating. So the meditation is where we really focus on breathing and bringing ourselves right into that time, that place, that moment and helping ourselves to lower our stress, hormone cortisol, and even blood, blood pressure has been shown to be lowered by uh, yoga as well. That's wonderful. Yeah. So, um, have you had any discussions with any of your clients that come to you that actually share those moments with you that say, "Wow, it's making a difference"? Yeah. So I have. I teach boot camp classes here as well, and I've actually found the most success in that. Um, a lot of the people that come to the boot camp class love it for the physical activity, but also for the camaraderie because they they have a blast <laughs> up there. Um, <laughs> through the whole fitness class. So there's that sense. There's also the sense of the, the relaxation with the yoga. I've had people, I took a couple months off for uh, maternity leave <laughs> at the beginning of this summer and I had people sending me emails regularly begging <laughs> me to come back to teach yoga again. Because it was affecting them and they <laughs> yeah. wanted it back again. That's, yeah. one, that's wonderful. Um, some friend of mine and I, we were talking one day and it was just that whole, um, Sometimes we get lost in day-to-day uh, -day activities and things like that, but um, she said to me, you know, it's just getting moving. It doesn't matter if you're going forwards or backwards or sideways, as long as you're moving. Yeah, yeah. It's, it truly is. It can be anything. Our bodies were meant to move, so <laughs> sitting around doing nothing is going to be more depressing to us than getting up and going for a walk down to the grocery store or even getting up and walking outside for five minutes. Yep. Excellent. Yeah. Thanks for your time today, Tamara. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming in. Uh, I'm Mary Beth Beauchard. I'm the executive assistant for the North Perth Family Health Team. Uh, we are talking about mental health and just wanted to go over some of the programming that uh, we offer here at the Family Health Team. 
Um, we have, first of all, uh, Gabrielle Hershey, who is our um, social worker. She uh, specifically works with children up to the age of 18. And through play therapy and uh, individual counseling, she works through some pretty tough stuff with the kids as far as uh, peer pressure, bullying, that kind of thing. Um, she also deals with par parents as well um, of those kids and gives them strategies on how to support their kids. Our uh, mental health worker or therapist, uh, Lori Erb, she works with people 18 and up. Uh, she works with couples uh, through marriage counseling. She does individual counseling as well. Uh, and these two ladies run some pretty great programs here at our clinic. Uh, the other person that uh, the family health team contracts is Brittany Dewing from Choices for Change out of Stratford. She is a counselor that deals with substance abuse, predominantly with our youth population. Um, this year, the Listowel District High School has asked us whether she would be able to stay within the school for five days a week because of the increased uh, substance use that's going on there and they really could use her help. The kids are really responding well to her, so we're pretty excited about the things that she's doing right now. So, so with that, uh, I just wanted to highlight some of our programs that uh, revolve around the mental health end of things. Lori Erb, our mental health therapist, puts on the chronic pain program. And what she does is basically walks through with a group of people um, uh, who've, who are dealing with a lot of pain and giving them strategies on how to cope with the pain. And uh, they will bring in a registered nurse and talk about uh, different types of medications. Uh, they'll talk about uh, different ways of coping with, with the pain through humor, through yoga, through um, exercise, that type of thing. Giving them different ways of dealing with what they live with every day. Uh, it's been an excellent program. There's been great response to it. And actually, our first program that we ran, the, the participants wanted to continue on through the summer. It became more of a support group where you know that uh, you're not alone in the whole deal. So that was kind of exciting to see that. And that continues uh, to work. Uh, Lori also puts on a strategy for positive aging. Everyone talks about the golden years, but sometimes they aren't quite as golden. And so. Uh, she, she works again through um, different avenues of how to cope with some of the challenges of aging, whether it be um, through physical or mental issues uh, that people are, are walking through. And through that, if some people feel they need further counseling, she will open up her office to that sort of thing in a private setting uh, outside the group. So a very positive uh, workshop as well. Um, Let's see, the Craving Change is another workshop that uh, Lori puts on along with our dietitian, uh, Heather Mann. <laughs> and uh, the two of them actually address the why we eat, which is kind of neat. You don't have to weigh in, you don't have to track your food, you don't even talk about food choices. Uh, they tar start targeting the triggers of why we eat. And uh, it's an exciting program that has been very well received and is actually coming up this spring. So you may want to take note of uh, what's happened or the advertisements in our paper that are coming up or call the clinic and find out when the next session is. Um, again, it's a great program to uh, address those things that go on in our heads as to why we eat and to. Uh, motivate people to think differently when it comes to addressing issues that are stressful in their lives and that sort of thing. So uh, that's pretty much um, covers our current programming. Certainly the past workshops that we have done are Surviving Your Adolescence, which has been an awesome one for parents who are struggling with dealing with their adolescence and understanding what goes on in your kids' heads to a certain extent um, and trying to um, work with those kids and to understand why they feel the way they do and giving them tools on how to talk with their kids. Along with that, they are actually looking at developing a program called Surviving Your Parents, which is actually for the kids of those parents who are involved in the Surviving Your Parents or Surviving Your Adolescents. 
So that's kind of a neat thing, and it'll actually cover the other end of it, understanding how your parents are, are concerned about you and, and what motivates them to do what they do and kind of give both sides kind of an understanding of what makes the other tick. So it's kind of a cool thing for that. Um, the other workshop that is in development stages right now is caregiver, caregiver stress management which I think also plays a factor into the mental health end of things, is, is being a caregiver of, of um, an elderly parent or a um, sick relative or a spouse uh, can be very challenging and it's a, a great place to, to learn how to um, deal with some of those challenges and what tools and strategies that you can do to self-care. So it's uh, some pretty exciting stuff coming up. Uh, definitely stay tuned, watch the papers. We always advertise in the Listowel banner uh, with all of our programming. So stay tuned. <laughs>we have discussed many different subjects with mental health um, with different people and different areas and right now I am speaking with Debbie Miller and we're going to talk about young families um, so Debbie will you tell us a little bit about your agency sure so uh, I run the North Perth Early Years Center and actually our agency over top of that is Perth Care for Kids out of Mitchell and we've been in North Perth for 13 years this May basically an Early Years Center is a one-stop shop for families is often a quick way that I like to talk about it we run free ch children and parents programming but we also offer that breakdown of silos is like I like to call it so I can have you come when you're expecting a baby and find out what services are available what supports you need how to help you find the sports you need and then when you have your babies we can have different programs and start breaking down and help you find people who are like you so you don't feel so alone and so you know what your baby's not sleeping through the night I know lots of others who don't, aren't sleeping through the night too. And you know, it goes all the way through. So we run parenting workshops, for example. We have workshops coming up on my child's driving me crazy, which is really about personalities colliding. You know, we offer access to different agencies and services. We run a young parents group too for parents under the age of 20. Lots of different things. And basically the goal is no one's alone. And so how can we find a proper connection, help you make a friend, find the right people to support you and your needs? So Debbie, how would someone find out about the agency if they're new to town or um, is it just because they have a child going through daycare? Well, interesting you asked that. So a lot of people think we are the local daycare because our office is inside of there, but actually we do programs right across. So we do programs out at the Wallace Community Centre, out at Poole in Milverton, in Atwood, in Moncton, in other areas in Listowel too, as the library, the Salvation Army Church. So our office itself, if you're looking for that, is inside 791 Main Street West, inside the daycare. But you can find our information on, we have a website, so it's pcfk.on.ca, so if you Google Perth Care for Kids, you'll find the North Perth calendars in the bottom bottom right hand corner. Uh, you can look us up on Facebook, North Perth Early Years Center, and you know our phone number, 291-6626, and there's no question that's wrong. So maybe your child's 15 and you're thinking, I don't know where to go for this, or you know, I'm new to town and I don't know where to get a recycling bin. Are those the questions that typically I get in a day? No, but like I said, there's no such thing as wrong. So I'll help you. That's what I, my, my job is. That's great. So, Deb, they can contact you just where we mentioned. We're going to put it across the screen again. Um, is there anything else um, you want to share? The one part you mentioned at one area was about uh, kids zero to six. Is that typically what you say, like the young family comes along? So our early year center, yes, it's parents, caregivers, families with children age zero to six. That's the mandate coming down of who we are to work with. And so we, our programs really are for that age group. I don't tend to turn any adults away. And so if a parent was to contact me, for example, in the fall we did a workshop on how to help your kids worry less. I had families calling me who had kids 8, 10, 12. Most of my data is going to be on under six, but I do know who that next handoff service is. So if I can't help you, I might introduce you to my friend Sharon from the chamber or somebody else is that we really want to work together as a good neighborhood and community and be aware of the services for each other and really do what we can for our citizens. Excellent. Thanks for your time today, Deb. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for sharing this past half hour with us. We hope you've enjoyed the program and that you will make a difference in someone else's life just by being present in the moment. And if you 
have a story that you'd like to share with us, be sure to contact me at the Chamber. I'm sure we're going to see you soon. Thanking our partners in their commitment to the Chamber, supporting our endeavors towards business prosperity and a stronger community. Our partners are Listowel Technology, the North Perth Municipality, Whiteman Telecom, Ideal Supply, the Listowel Banner, Cherry Boss Lines, Canada Trust, Liberal Credit Union, Conceptual Pathways, and Right Bite Orthodontics. The North Perth Chamber of Commerce is gearing up for their annual Home and Lifestyle Show being held at the Listowel Arena the first weekend in May. It's free admission Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We will have over 70 booths that are available for a large variety of vendors to show off their products and services to an expected crowd of over a thousand people. The arena is already decorated and lined with colorful curtains and carpeting to enhance the atmosphere for all. Visitors can try their luck and unlock the door to win a prize from the Garden of Gifts. Women, men, children, families, there is something for everyone at our home show. Vendor packages are available at our office or online, www.npchamber.com, and you can check out the listing of exhibitors. Come to our home and lifestyle show. See you the first weekend in May. Thank you to all of our event sponsors for their support. Whiteman Telecom. Ideal Supply. Libro Credit Union. Cherry Bus Lines. TD Canada Trust. Listable Technology. Right Bite Orthodontics. Conceptual Pathways. The Municipality of North Perth and the Listowel Banner.
The preceding program was brought to you by Whiteman TV and Bruce Telecom.